Welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to switch languages by deploying an Angular i18 application on Azure web apps. So as a prerequisite, we need to configure an Angular application with internationalization and localization. So for this demo, I will open my Angular i18 application created on my previous video. I'll provide the link in the description below. So the first step is to test the actual Angular application. So open a new console terminal and type ngs to serve the application and add the configuration flag to run the application with the s local id. Go to the website. As you can see, all the translated tests are in Spanish. Close the website. Now the next step is to add the language switcher in the HTML file. So go to the add component HTML, add a button to switch languages. We have two languages, the source local, which is NES, and the local for Spanish, which is S. So in the button, let's add simple style add in a background color and a font size, go to the TypeScript file, we will change the language based on the added local ID. So add a constructor and add the inject decorator and pass the local ID token to get the added locale, which is a property, a string property, add uppercase in the I and update or import from Angular code. The yet we're taking the current local id based on this field so go to the html and add a simple if else statement with the new angular syntax add if if the local is n yes the s text else add n yes for the button text now add a click event in the button to change the language by changing the relative path of our application. So add a method called switch lang. Go to the TypeScript file, call the location property.href to change the URL. So based on the actual locale, let's add a ternary operator. If the locale is S, let's go to the N us url which is the source local id path otherwise go to the s local id path we're ready to test the application and to switch languages so serve the application with the default source local so we won't add any configuration flag so serve the application and let's see the results click the button to translate the text into Spanish into the S local ID. As you can see, it doesn't work. Why? Because each localized version is generated at compile time, not at runtime. But when we deploy an Angular app, for instance, on Azure Web Apps, we will generate a different application per local and we'll able to change the language in the UI. So go to Visual Studio Code and create a new Azure Web Apps. So I have an extension. Go to the extension sections called Azure App Service to create a new Azure App Service from Visual Studio and to deploy the Angular application into an Azure App Service. So you can install this extension, open the command palette and look for Azure App Service create a new web app with advanced configuration to set the operating system to Windows, okay? So define a name to the web app. So let me add a name to the application, select any resource group, a runtime stat, in this case, the latest version, now 20, select Windows, and select any Windows app service plan. Skip application insights. It's creating the web app. So let's build the application with the ng build command to generate the versions per locale in the dist folder. So as you can see, go to the dist angular i18n browser folder, and we have a version per locale. So let's click deploy, okay, browse to the folder, go to the dist 
to the name of the application and select the browser folder because the browser folder contains the application per local. Select browser to deploy this folder into the new Azure web app. So expand the source local ID and in the HTML you can see the href which is the local ID. Similarly for the S local, okay, so it's different. The deployment is completed, so browse website and navigate to the in US URL, which is for our localized version using the source local ID. So we have our application with English translations, switch the language to Spanish, and as you can see, the URL is updated and we load the Spanish version which is the S local ID. Click end US again. As you can see, all the texts are translated to the added local ID. So in this demo, we'd learn how to switch languages by deploying an Angular i18 application on Azure Web Apps.